All right, so this video is going to be for if you missed on Tuesday, um, November 1st, or Wednesday, November 2nd. The first is a white day, and the second is a red day. Um, so if you missed either of those days, this is what this video is for, okay? All right, so what we ended up doing today is in our notebooks, uh, we're, well, anyways, we dealt with um, central idea. And so in our notebooks, we actually added what's in orange on here. Um, so when you get back to school, you can uh, add this to that um, for yourself. But essentially with central idea, you're going to notice um, you may not want to say like this article is to persuade us to do something. You may want to say it differently, like um, in the sense of like this is a persuasive essay or if this is a um, this is an argumentative text. Um, so I'm just giving you different words that you could say rather than just the base word of persuade or argue, inform, reflect, um, entertain. Um, this way you have persuasive, argumentative, informative, or informational, reflective, and then entertain could be entertaining. Okay. All right. So to show you what we ended up doing today, and you're just going to do this on a, um, a separate sheet of paper. Um, but essentially what we did is we went through the four main um, texts that we did for text or, uh, yeah, text structures for writing structures. Um, we went through the ones that we've done together already and we use skiff. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly. On page 28, we have rise of the backpack and underneath that we did skiff. Um, we talked through some things on that as well. Um, so we're using skiff to help us write a central idea. This right here, CI central idea is not in a sentence yet. The goal is to get this into a sentence. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing with compare and contrast. Again, underneath we have the central idea from Skiff. And again, the goal is to take this information and put it into a sentence. So it's a one sentence um, central idea. We're also going to do description today. Again, you have that information right here. Um, it has the um, central idea in the sense it's not written in a sentence yet, but you're gonna take that information. And then we also have the last one, cause and effect problem solution. Again, we have Skiff central idea. We're just taking this information and putting it into a one sentence um, central idea. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you what I want you to do for this. Um, I'm going to set this to the side for a second. This is the piece of paper that I ended up giving to the kids today. So what you'll need to do is you're just going to have a separate sheet of paper um, in the sense of writing your central ideas. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to break it up into the different sections. Um, what I would do is I would, on your separate sheet of paper, at the very top of your separate sheet of paper, I want you to make sure you write this. Okay, so I would write central idea pretty big. Um, and then underneath that, I want you to write this. Title is a or an purpose text that discusses who did what, where, and or when. Because essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the information that you already have in Skiff. So I'm going to show you the Dolphin article here for a second. You're going to be taking the information that you have in Skiff, the CI, this right here, purpose, who, what, where, and when. Um, you're going to take this information and you're basically going to plug it into this format up here. Um, so the things that are in bold and all caps, you're going to have to have in your central idea no matter what. The other information that's not in caps and not in bold, um, you can use that to help you to get that sentence, but if it's not helpful and you use different words to get there, that's fine. Okay. All right. So again, on your separate sheet of paper, go ahead and just make sure this is written at the very top. And then down below, you'll just have four different sections. You don't necessarily have to label them because um, I'm going to show you where to find all of that information. But you are going to want to have four different sections because you're going to write four different central ideas with me. Okay. Now, before I kind of get started, I am going to show you what you can find in Schoology um, because it may be helpful to you. So if you go to Schoology because you don't have your notebook, um, I actually have the notes in there for you so you can look at them while you're at home. So if you go to where it says notes, you can actually click on the different things that we have here. So we have sequencing notes. That's page 28. That's the one that deals with um, the backpack thing. So if you like click on it, it's going to open up and it's going to show you the notes that we took in class. So you can use that to help you. Okay. Um, same thing with compare and contrast notes. They're all going to show you what is in your notebook. All right. So if you need to see those notes, you're going to go get those. Otherwise I'm going to show you that, um, using my own notebook that I have here. But again, you have sequencing, compare, contrast, description, and cause and effects problem solution. So all four 
of the notes and the skiff that we already did for those four articles are right here, page 28, 29, 30, and 31. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just show it to you on my screen, um, which is right here. Um, so again, on your separate sheet of paper, this is what you have. And then everything else that I'm going to show you, I want to make sure that you write that down. So that way you have that in order to bring it back to class with you um, on the next day that we have class. Okay. All right. So for sequencing, this is the one that had to do rise in the backpack. What we did is we talked about this. Um, we had the purpose, inform. Um, so you're not writing anything yet. Okay. So we're only focusing on central idea. So you have purpose, which is inform. Here's the topic. Um, we cross out that it's not really about Jerry Cunningham. It's actually more so about the subject of backpacks. And then what about backpacks is that they're changing over time. And then where and when it's happening in the 1930s and it's happening now um, or to now. And then it's, in, it's happening globally. Okay. So you're taking that information and what you're going to do, I'm going to show you on this sheet of paper that we already did in class. So these are the things that you need to make sure that you write down um, so you can write that central idea. All right. So essentially what you're doing is you have that information. You have this format that you're following and you're going to write the title and then you're going to say is um, uh, the different type of purpose. You're going to use that different purpose that you have. So I'm going to read this one to you. So Rise of the Backpack is an informational text that discusses how backpacks evolved since the 1930s. Now, something I ended up doing with my uh, classes today is I went through and I talked through how we want to make sure we have all the items that we need for that particular central idea. And so right here, we need title, so I'm going to put a T. We need purpose, so I'm going to put a P. We need who, what, where, and or when. So we really just need to have our three W's. So I'm going to put three W's here. And so then to check yourself to see if you have all the items that you need, I'm going to look here, title. Well, there it is, Rise of the Backpack. That's my title. I have it. Is an informational text. Information inform is purpose. So I have purpose in there that discusses how backpacks, that's what, that's the who, backpacks is the subject, um, evolved since the 1930s. So evolved, that's what's happening to backpacks. That's what is happening. It's, it, they've changed over time. Okay. Since the 1930s, that's the when. Now it doesn't have the where, but it, as long as I have the when, that's fine. You need to have at least one of them. Um, it kind of, you know, want to make sure like is the where or the when more important, okay? Um, depending on whatever article it is that you're reading, all right? So that's essentially what you're doing. You're taking the information that is on page, sorry, that is on here that we already have for SCIF. We're taking this topic of information and this purpose, and we are putting it into the central idea using this format up here, making sure to include title, purpose, who, what, where, and or when. Okay. All right. So make sure you have that written down. That's going to be your first central idea. Okay. The next one, I'm going to go ahead and move to that one. Um, if I'm going too fast, you can pause at any point, but again, I just want you to make sure that you're reading or listening to this and that you're writing these central ideas down for yourself. So the second one, it says, do you need to know how to tell time? So again, what you're doing with this one is you are using that information and you know, I think I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to go ahead and show you in Schoology where you can find this because I think that's going to be easier. All right, so here's compare and contrast notes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's see if I can, see if I can make this even better for you. Wait just a second. All right, so there's my compare and contrast notes. Here's what I'm doing on my screen. So you're just going to make sure that you are writing down what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So compare and contrast. So I'm using this part right here, skiff. I'm using the CI. So purpose is to argue. Um, and then here's my topic. So I'm going to use this information plus this um, format over here. So what I have so far, it says, do you need to know how to tell time is, and the purpose is argue. So I'm going to say argumentative argumentative text that, and then I get to decide how I want to say this. I could say discusses. I'm not going to in this particular one. I did write that down earlier, but I like the fact that I'm looking at this and it's a comparing text. So I could actually even use the word compare. 
because they are they're comparing analog clocks to digital clocks okay so i'm going to put over here compares and it says compares the importance of analog and digital clocks today so that's what i have for my central idea now i used all the information that was over here for the purpose and topic i used argue i have the word clocks in there i have importance of reading an analog clock um, I have that is happening today. I have all of that information. And I even did it over here. I have title. I have purpose. I have who. I have what. And I have when and or where. So I'm making sure to cross those off when I use them. Okay? All right. So what I want for you to do is I would like for you to pause this video. And I want you to go try this on your own. You have two examples right now as to how this works. But what I would like for you to do is you're going to go over here um, into Schoology and you're going to do the same thing with description and cause and effect. Okay, so you're going to open up description notes. Looks like this. You're going to use Skiff to help you to create the central idea for the dolphin piece. Okay, so I want you to pause and then I want to see, I want you to challenge yourself to see if you can create the central idea using the information that's on the screen right now in the sense that you're using skiff um, right over here this purpose and topic and that you're using the central idea format here to kind of help you or to guide you it does not have to be exact but you do need to make sure you have title purpose who what when and or where okay so pause this try that and then come back all right so hopefully you did pause um, and you tried it on your own i'm going to show you what this class came up with um, there are lots of different examples on this, but this one will work. There's a lot of other ones that will work as well. Um, because the, 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 or sorry, the deal is, is if you have title, purpose, who, what, where, and or when, you have that information and it makes sense in a sentence, you're going to be okay. Okay? So this is the one they came up with. One of these dolphins is a robot. It is an informational text that describes how robot dolphins are replacing real dolphins in marine parks around the world. I don't necessarily have to say today. I could say today, um, but I don't necessarily have to. This one particularly is more important that I know where it's taking place um, because we want to make sure that we're saying marine parks because otherwise it may come off that it looks like we're just replacing dolphins altogether. So you're never going to see a real dolphin ever again, even in the ocean. So having that where is really important for this one specifically. Okay. Um, Yours should be very similar. It should have the same sort of information in it. It may look a little bit different, but as long as it makes sense and you're able to read it and it um, has all of those components in it, again, title, purpose, who, what, and where or when, you're going to be fine. Okay? All right, you're going to do one more for me, and I want you to, again, I want you to try this on your own. Um, I want you to challenge yourself, see if you can do it. Um, so it's the cause and effect problem solution piece. This is the one with the playground. Um, so again, you have SCIF, you have Central Idea, you've already done the work here. All you have to do is piece this together with this right here. Okay, so I want you to pause and I want you to try to take the information that you have and create that Central Idea. All right, so hopefully you were able to um, challenge yourself to see if you got that Central Idea. I'm going to show you what the class came up with um, today on this one. So we kind of added a little bit more to this one with my uh, one of my classes, but they ended up taking this. So again, they had the um, checklist over here in the sense of make sure they had everything. But anything is possible is an informational text that discusses how Melody Day, who's a fifth grader, built an all-inclusive playground at her school in Winsville, Missouri, during 2020. Okay. So again, I have title. I have purpose, I have who, I have what, and then I have where and when on this one. Okay, so again, I crossed those off and I had all the information. And all I did was I used my information I had in my notebook because I've already have done the work to find this. I just had to piece it together into a sentence. All right? Okay, so that's essentially all we ended up um, doing today. So what I need for you to do in order to know that, I, that you did this I want you to take a picture of your specific piece of paper. So again, you really should have all of this information on a piece of paper that you wrote in the sense that you have the central idea, you have that format, and then you should have your four different sentences for your four different central ideas for the articles that we did in class. Okay. Um, I want you to take a picture of the, 
picture of that for me. I want you to send it to me in an email. That way I know that you did it and I can give you credit for it. Um, and then when you get back to school, you're going to tape that into your notebook and you'll be good to go. All right, cool. That's all I got.